It's time for Perspective next, and our guest today is Kelvin Doe, who once went by the name DJ Focus. The 23-year-old from Freetown, Sierra Leone, built his own radio station from scraps at the age of 11, and then went on to become the youngest ever visiting practitioner at MIT. With an array of engineering projects behind him, Kelvin is now living and studying in Canada. In Sierra Leone, we have not too much electricity. I like to come um, once in a week and uh, the rest of the month dark. So I made my own battery to power light in people's houses. Whatever thing I, I've, I've learned, yeah, I will share it with my friends, colleagues, loved ones, and do it as a team. That is my aim, to promote innovation in Sierra Leone among young people. <laughs> We can now go across to Toronto and speak to Kelvin Doe. Kelvin, thank you very much for joining us here on France 24. Firstly, what are you up to in Canada? Um, you know, I'm currently taking uh, an entrepreneurship program and also, you know, trying to set up um, an innovation fund. The goal behind that is to um, support young innovators in Sierra Leone and around the world. Now, in yeah, the I've been doing a lot of work lately. Okay, you've been doing a lot of work. Now, in the past, you know, you have mentioned the, the need uh, of climate change. You've spoken about this. You said that's something that's affecting the African continent. What are you working on to tackle climate change? Um, well, I think, firstly, what we need to do, um, we need to inform, you know, people about, you know, um, the crisis itself. Um, you know, so... Partly what I'm, I'm, I'm doing right now, you know, I'm actually developing a program that would not only um, build a, a, a device, but also educating people that, you know, this is something that we all need to um, address, not only at a, at a political level, but also amongst ourselves as young people. So, you know, part of what we're doing currently um, with, the, with the innovation fund that I'm trying to set up um, the goal is to go to schools and, and, and educate people about, you know, climate change and what we can all do to, to inform people. Okay, so uh, you must be aware that there is a movement right now. Every Friday you have children from high schools across the world who are skipping school uh, to protest uh, the need, uh, you know, to, 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 to shine the spotlight on a climate change uh, they have a very pessimistic view of the future. Do you share that pes pessimism? Um, yes, I do. Um, I think, you know, the more we continue to have the discussions like this, um, like the Friday, you know, movement, I think the more our leaders would, you know, engage and, and, and try to provide solutions. I think it's important for us, you know, young people to be on the forefront um, and take the lead because, you know, it's something we've been saying for quite some time now and nothing has been done. And I think, you know, we just we need to continue to to do our best, you know, um, and making sure that um, our voices are heard. And uh, and yeah, I think the movement is actually like a good way to start. But I think we need to move beyond that. Now, and what about you personally? Because uh, you said you wanted to return home to Sierra Leone at some point. Do you see that happening in the near future? Um, yeah, definitely. I think, you know, part of the reason why um, I'm not in Sierra Leone at the moment is because, um, is because of the political and, and social, you know, environment in, in Sierra Leone. Um, I think the more I'm able to empower myself, um, the more I can do more, you know, things that would sustain not only Sierra Leone, but um, the world as a whole. So I'm currently learning as much as I can. Um, I'm, I'm also, um, you know, I'm trying to, as I mentioned, trying to set up, you know, the Kelvin Doe Innovation Fund. And the goal is to actually um, support young innovators, not just in Sierra Leone, but, you know, around the world. Okay, and what about life in Canada? Do you like it? Um, well, you know, I I guess um, you know things are things are moving um, uh, not 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 the way I expected. Because, but like I I guess you know it's all part of the learning process. 
Um, at some point, I'm definitely, you know, want to go back to Sierra Leone and, and continue to do the things that I do. But obviously, um, I'm alive and, uh, you know, trying to make the best out of it. Now, you said you, your, your fund helps support innovators, uh, not only in Sierra Leone, but around the world. How important is it for you to change the African narrative? Um, I think it's, it's, it, for me, it's very important. You know, it's part of the reason why um, I decided to build a radio station to connect the community and the government. And I think young people have a role to play in making sure that, you know, Africa is a, is a place where people can go and feel like um, they can actually, you know, um, benefit so much from. And I think um, for me, um, it's, it's very important that we um, support young people um, because the more, we, the more that we can support young people, I think the more opportunities and, and, uh, and solutions they themselves can actually solve within the continent. And uh, part of the reason why I'm trying to build the Innovation Fund um, is because I think we have so much you know, potential within the continent. And if we can invest in young people, we can actually get them to solve the problem that is facing Africa. Kelvin, thank you very much for joining us here on France 24. Wish you all the best.